Good evening and welcome to the programme. Wales has joined the world in commemorating the anniversary of the September the 11th attacks. Services have been held across the country and the First Minister has said the people of Wales stand with the people of America in showing a united front against terrorism. Our correspondent Carl Edwards is at the local community centre in Ross tonight where people are gathering. Carl, what's the latest? On to sport now and the Liberty Stadium will be packed to the rafters tomorrow as Swansea take on Manchester United. Well, my tanning injections have arrived. There's enough in this bottle for 10 doses, but it only comes with four alcoholic wipes and just two needles. And the instruction leaflet is very basic. Within just minutes of being there, I was spotted by a compensation claims handler. If you're a young lady with a bad answer, you've got to give her a card. The money raised by the charity helps pay for five members of staff here, as well as the solutions and the gels which are needed for the tests. Five years ago, Julie McElroy, who lives in that White House behind me, was looking for love. She tried everything, so she decided for a last resort she'd log on to the internet and try a dating site. But little did she know that her perfect match would be living in this house here, just six doors away. Now, the good news is Julie and Alan are still together. They've still got their separate houses, but they're now engaged and looking forward to getting married. From where we are over the Gower, it would take 45 minutes in traffic to get to the nearest hospital. But in the air ambulance, that journey would take just five minutes. Marie Claire, he will be in prison for a long time, yeah? Yes, he's been given a life sentence in order to serve a minimum of 19 years in prison. The judge said that throughout the trial, he had watched Paul Grabham looking for the merest flicker of remorse or regret and had found none. And she didn't tell us how she wants to achieve those goals, but she will have to do it soon because I think, as our investigation tonight has shown, there are pressures in some areas of the health service. If you smoke 20 cigarettes a day, this is how much tar you're taking into your body in a year. And the earlier you start smoking, the more problems that tar causes. But passive smoking is also a problem. If a mother smokes while she's pregnant, this is the amount of tar that goes into her baby's lungs. We're now about 20 minutes into the operation. Once it's over, the tumour will have been removed from Steve's breast, but he'll then have to wait for the results of a biopsy to find out whether the cancer has spread. Well, you can hear them rehearsing for tonight's gig, but I've come backstage to talk to Noel Gallagher about how the tour is going. The tour is great. Good Welsh fans, then, they enjoy the music. They enjoy the music and throwing beer over each other. <laughs> well, I won't, I won't debate which they enjoy more. Now, these lemurs are just so cute. I can see why you've given up life in London to come to West Wales. I tell you, I would never change now. I don't regret a single thing. I mean, it is very peaceful in here, the walkthrough, and the lemurs are fantastic, but it's not always this stress-free. Oh, I'm going to break a nail. Brilliant. Each of the riders at Tim's Yard will ride around six horses a day, making sure they're fit for the races. I was exhausted after riding just one, oh, but I did enjoy it. This is amazing. Well, it's all hands on deck for the team. As you can see, we've got to wear special safety equipment because 360 tonnes of fuel are coming on board the ship. And that's... Oh! <laughs> well done for holding on. <laughs> really went overboard. <laughs> very clear, thanks very much Thank indeed. You. This is the last stop for HMS Monmouth, and it's also where we leave the ship. But what better way to end than in the sunshine on a Caribbean beach? Marie-Claire Kerry-Jones, Wales Tonight in Antigua.